the Story Crafter Studio, a video series exploring the power of very specific business story to move hearts and minds and deliver results. I'm Paul Fariga, President and Chief Storyteller at WordWrite, your host for this series. We hope you'll find it educational, entertaining, and most of all, useful. If you like this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Today's topic, most people who work in marketing or are interested in learning more about it to help their organization probably aren't expecting or looking for a biology lesson. But there's much that scientists have learned about how our brains process stories that holds value when trying to explain why someone should buy from you, work for you, invest in you, or partner with you. Technology, including MRIs and other brain scan techniques, coupled with modern neuroscience, show that we do not develop a love for a story, we're born with it. As much as 90% of the information that reaches our brain is processed in an area known as the limbic system, or the old brain, which controls subconscious behavioral and emotional responses. With so much to process, our minds are efficient when it comes to blocking out information they deem unimportant, such as advertising, or messages that don't engage us personally. Stories though, yeah, the old brain makes room for new stories. The 2007 book, Neuromarketing, highlights that self-contained information stimulates the old brain. In other words, if your brain detects the beginning and a middle and an end to a message, rather than a disorganized deluge of images and words, it's more likely to process the information. So yes, our brains are literally wired for stories. Stay tuned for more revealing research at our next two videos. Join us next time as we dig deeper into the brain science that proves the power of these very special stories. Thanks for watching. Lots of great storytelling content for you at www.capitalsstory.com and wordwritepr.com forward slash storycrafting. And remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.